on one side of the debate, you've got a woman that nobody has ever liked. <laughs> nobody has ever liked this woman. She has been, she has been thrust, especially not her husband. Um, <laughs> I am told the debate rules tonight, by the way, are going to favor Donald Trump. For instance, she has to stand for 90 minutes. No seats. No seats. No seats. No seats. There'll be no phoning a friend. Anyone know the dialing code for hell? Imagine, you know, you imagine the poor liberal feminists looking forward to a Clinton White House. They get there for some, you know, some, some interminable rape seminar, something about, about, about rape culture on campus, instead to be greeted with classes like, is the bitch going to talk? And <laughs> how to suppress bimbo eruptions. <laughs> Bill's getting a little infirm now. He looks, you know, I'm trying to work out which STD it is that did it. Um, <laughs> I've seen that, that sort of pallid exterior, the thin papery skin and the wiry vacant sort of vacancy of it in gay clubs before, but I have a feeling it's <laughs> I have a feeling it's something else. I don't know what it is. Every past president uh, has been worried about getting assassinated, getting shot. It seems to be the only way that Trump could lose is by getting assassinated. Um, Reagan took uh, a bullet while in office. God bless his, his memory, uh, Ronald Reagan. Um, <laughs> It's the only thing Hillary's worried about is not having a shot handy when she goes into one of her seizures. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Hillary Clinton's uh, Secret Service code name is Patient Zero. Uh, she... <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've asked them, I've asked them. Uh, and she's set to enact Clinton Care, Clinton Care on day one, which isn't uh, an enlargement of Obamacare, it's actually just a vast new body of the federal government dedicated to making sure she's got all of the shots and medication she needs to get up in the morning. In fact, on the numbers, Hillary never does very well. Um, this is... Uh, 11% of Americans find Hillary honest and trustworthy. 14% of you believe in Bigfoot. What is she wearing? What is she wearing? Uh, Hillary in her technicolor shit coat, right? <laughs> Hillary's policies are almost completely reactive. Every day, I imagine her team sort of says a number of prayers. One, that you know, nothing bad happens that day because it always ends up terrible for them. Two, they won't have another unfortunate overheating episode at a 9-11 memorial. And the third prayer is probably facing Mecca. Um, but... <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not being mean. Think about who she surrounds herself with. Huma Abedin. Huma Abedin. Now, you know why they get on. It's not just Saga Cruz's scrabble and scissoring that, that Hillary and Huma... that Hillary and Huma have in common. They both have terrible taste in husbands. Wiener and Bill Clinton. Good Lord. No, mon no wonder those women have bonded. Even I, some fag from England is able to command crowds five times the size of Hillary's. Now, it's true. It's true. She can barely get 200 people to show up when she speaks to young people. I sold out a 1,200-seater at Louisiana State University in 48 hours. That's assuming her crowds are even real people. We hear all the time that she buses them in. Well, here's a handy tip. If you want to give speeches to small crowds, hire midgets. And then when we call them... When... And when they call the crowd small, you can cry bigotry like you always do. Thank you. Hey, my question is, sure. um, we've been blessed enough to see Ivanka on TV a lot of times. Oh, every time she's on. What is it going to take to see... Even what is, me. What is it going to take to um, hold Chelsea Clinton in front of a microphone and ask her, what do you think about your dad? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I... I mean, the first thing to say is nobody knows who her dad is. 
Um, In the Impact segment tonight, the fallout from the Ferguson police shootings and email gate. Let's bring in one of my favorite authors and commentators out there, anywhere, Ann Coulter. And welcome. First, let's start with Ferguson. Your thoughts on the latest in Ferguson. Well, I think the whole thing was brought about by Obama and Holder turning a self-defense shooting by a cop in this small town into another 9-11. They had 45 FBI agents investigating. And what began as, you know, a brutal assassination murder of, a, of, of Mike Brown, um, a black teenager, after all of these investigations, to a massive grand jury investigation, even Eric Holder's Justice Department, all they come up with is, well, yes, he was, Darren Wilson, Officer Darren Wilson was completely in the right. He was being charged. The witnesses who said that, that, that uh, my, Big Mike was, had his hands up were lying, were completely full of it. Um, this is all from Eric Holder's report. Um, but they stopped too many blacks in traffic violations. Uh, try to find a city, any municipality in America where blacks are not stopped more uh, for, than, than whites are. I mean, you'll remember Michael Bl Bloomberg in, in New York defending the stop and frisk policy, saying, mm. look, if you look at the arrest rec rates, blacks have a much higher arrest rate. They have a much higher crime rate. And liberals may not want to admit th that, but if you're going to play these games with statistics, that happens to be very important. Michael <laughs> Bloomberg said, if anything, we're not arresting enough, enough white people. And as Steve Saylor pointed out on his blog, he started comparing white and black arrest records in various left-wing places like Santa Monica. The black arrest rate in Santa Monica is three times as high as the black arrest rate in Ferguson. All right, and before we move on to Hillary, I want to talk one to the producers. Let's pull up that picture of the CNN anchors when they're standing around a table and they have the hands up, don't shoot sign. The media, Ann, has been complicit in this. Yeah. And, and why? I describe it all in my book, Mugged. The left just loves ginning up racial animosity and hatred. And I think the best race relations ever were in this country was after, as I describe in my book, after the OJ verdict, when when white America finally said, that's it, we've, we've paid at the office, we're done. And suddenly blacks stopped being infantilized and they were treated like adults. And you had all of this just flowering of, of intellectual and important blacks and not just the ones who were coming on TV to harangue us. Well, Obama and the media sucking up to Obama and their general love of racial demagoguery has brought us back to the 70s. All right. And let's move on to Hillary Clinton. The whole email gate scandal. I haven't heard uh, where, where you stand on this, but does she think she's above the law? Does she want to just have a, a general feeling that she, the laws don't apply to her the way they apply to us? Well, I was listening to your previous guests and other guests on this topic um, on other stations, and let's say everything they say is true, which I do not think it is. This is for purposes of argument. Nothing that Hillary did was illegal. It didn't violate protocol. There's nothing about Benghazi. All the emails she deleted just had to do with uh, Chelsea's wedding. Let's say all of that is true. Hillary herself and her defenders say, um, well, it was a mistake, and if I had to do it over again, I would have two f phones. Um, um, she did do it again. She has been through this before. She was the first lady of Arkansas. She had was involved in two presidential campaigns. She was the first lady of the nation. She was secretary of state and there was scandal after scandal. She did do this before. Can't she learn? A child learns when you put your hand on, on the stove. If it burns, don't put your hand on the stove again. This is like a, an IQ test we've set up for this woman. A rat <laughs> learns. Don't do this. I'll get a shock if I do that. But here's the problem, Why man. didn't it occur there's, there's to her? No shock. Maybe I shouldn't do there's it. There's no shock. She keeps having a scandal oh, after scandal, and, and no, one holds her, no one holds her accountable. Uh... I don't think most people's recollection of the Clinton years were about that. You had the Rose Law Firm records. The, you had um, her taking the, the files out of Vince Foster's office. You had her hiding the, the health care records. And here um, she the is. And records. here she is, the most this. popular Democrat in America. How is that possible? Is that all we can come up with? We can come up with someone who's scandal after scandal is, and another Clinton? This woman has a very low IQ. We now have the test. The evidence is in. All right. All right. Um, how do, de do Democrats want someone else? I, it feels like that now they've been painted into the corner. They have to uh, back Hillary Clinton. Do they wish they had another choice? 
I, 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 th I think you're right about that. I mean, the media keeps the left wing media, i.e. everything except, well, right here, right now. Um, <laughs> they keep acting as if as if we somehow, you know, we as America owe Hillary Clinton because because we ran off with our trophy wife Obama back in 2008. We owe her this nomination. Well, you know, America doesn't owe her. Maybe you owe her liberal America. Um, but I don't think most Americans feel like she's owed anything. So, yeah. And also, I think probably a lot of them are starting to wonder, why would she do something this stupid? Forgetting about the corruption, forgetting about the illegality. So, and the left seems to be enamored with first the first African-American president, now they want the first female president. Is that a mistake? It's kind of sad, the holidays they hold, they hold so dear. Whereas I noticed they did not celebrate the first black Secretary of State under President Bush, Colin Powell, or the first black female Secretary of State, Condoleezza Rice. No, those kind of slipped, slipped beneath the radar. Um, but, you know, these useless... <laughs> these useless women like Madeleine Albright. Oh, we have to have a big holiday over that one. I think it's embarrassing and people get sick of this stuff. And the main thing I would say is Republicans, please don't follow in the Democrats' wake. When a Margaret Thatcher comes along, you'll know it. You don't go yeah. looking over over <laughs> politics to find, do we have a woman we can run? You know it when she comes there along. There you go. We're going to leave it right there. And as always, thank you very much. Up next, President Obama says he's embarrassed for the